welcome. I jotted down questions from my q and I asked on Instagram. I thought it would be best if I start off with questions that are more personal towards me. Where are you from? I am from Hawaii. I was born and raised on the big island of Hawaii. I lived in Maui for a few years and Oahu and Honolulu for about 10 years um, until I moved to New York. I had a brief period between then where I lived in the Virgin Islands. I moved to New York simply because I wanted to grow as a person. I wanted to challenge myself individually. I wanted to expand my experience of life and see where that took me. I think being outside of your comfort zone forces you to see things in a different perspective, to learn things about yourself that you might not have known or might not have been brought to the surface for you to even know. And so I moved not for any particular reason. It wasn't because of a man or a job or anything else. I just thought I want to change things up and see what happens. And so by doing so, I ended up meeting Elias, my fiance, Wolf's dad, um, six months after I moved here through the first friend that I made. Her name is Santi and they have been friends since they were like 14 and they're from Portland. Um, and I met him at brunch and it was very casual and exactly what I needed it to be because I am a bit of a clammy nerd and had I liked him off the bat, I probably would have gotten all weird and awkward and so I met him actually the day after I basically shaved my head and felt completely fucking scared of leaving the house the day when I woke up and I was like, holy shit, I cut off all my hair, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna just stay home until it grows back. And then my little voice inside my head was like, no, you're not doing that. That is not how you operate and that's ridiculous. I have never met or encountered another person where I thought that their beauty or confidence or the characteristics about them had anything to do with their outward appearance. And I don't think that that should represent who you are as a person and make you feel more comfortable. So, it was a really big transformation period for me and although yes it is comfortable to feel comfortable it's great to know that you feel the way that you do and what makes you feel most confident but it's great to strip yourself from those things and those elements and learn who you are as a core individual with your character more than just what you're used to and so anyway um shaved my head met elias I think six months later we moved in together and then six months after that we were engaged and then two weeks after that we found out we are pregnant with Wolf and it wasn't a complete surprise. We had talked about the idea of getting pregnant and we were both on the same page which was amazing and welcomed the opportunity if it were to happen and then it did and I mean you've seen him he's like the most spectacular baby i've ever could dream up if i could dream him up any better than that i don't even know what i'd do so that's that let's get to more questions um oh what camera do i use i have for for everything i post that's a photograph basically on instagram i just use my iphone i have an iphone 7 and i just got it so everything before that was an iphone 6 um, I have, I'm an artist, I like to paint, everything I've, I'm not trying to say that I'm good at anything <laughs> because I just like to do things to my liking. So it's not to everybody's liking, but I am particular about keeping my lenses very clean. I like to set things up in a certain way. I really appreciate natural lighting. All those elements make a big difference when I take a photo and um, and then editing them is pretty minimal but uh, I just try to kind of make things look like they're film, like captured on film versus a phone. Uh, but I film like right now is on my Canon G7X which is such an amazing intuitive point and shoot camera. I could not recommend it more. It is 
it is I have a good can I have a really good can I have a ugh. I have a DSLR it is big it is bulky it is like a second child it has an I have a Sigma lens for it I love that camera so much but this one I gravitate towards because it fits in my purse it has it looks beautiful and it's like touch screen and it's everything that we're used to when we use our phones as our means source. So um, if it's a vlog, it's the Canon. If it's a photo, it's my phone. The end of that. Um, okay, let's see. How did we choose Wolf's name? Well, I did not I was never the girl who was fantasizing about having a family and having babies and what their names would be. I didn't play with Barbie dolls and I was climbing trees and shooting BB guns. And so I had like a vision, I guess more like an image. If I ever envisioned having a family, I pictured having two boys and living near a creek or a stream or body of water, having like a garden outside and a big yard and teaching them how to do cool art, outdoorsy stuff. So when we found out that Wolf was a boy, it's not like I had a list of names, but I only really had a couple of names that I've ever gravitated towards. And so we were gonna name him actually Jack Wolf Comfort. Comfort is Elias' last name. And as further along, so I t Elias and I had a conversation about it when I when we found out he was a boy, and he was like, "Oh my God, wrapping a boy! What do you think about names?" And we were actually texting because I was working, um, and I told him like the only name I ever really gravitated towards was the name Jack. And I really like the name Wolf as a middle name, and I was very like nervous that he was gonna be like, I don't like it. And thankfully, he was like, Holy shit, I love it. And so his name was gonna be Jack Wolf Comfort. And then the more, the further along I got in pregnancy, the more that I felt like I felt the being of him, if that makes sense and doesn't sound too crazy hippie, but I felt. I felt the presence of him and I didn't feel like he was a Jack. So we had our baby shower in Hawaii, which my best friend Laurel threw and it was the most beautiful thing I've ever experienced. It was like a wedding for me and my baby with all of my closest friends. It was just gorgeous. And that was, I think I was seven months pregnant. And then after that we slowly like just kind of felt the energy of our baby and it seemed like he was more of a wolf than a jack and after 73 hours of labor which i had 73 hours of labor before he was born um he's a wolf so we just cut out the middle name and his name is wolf comfort there's just no, how can you proceed a name like Wolf? It's just too, it's just too strong and too perfect. Um, that's that on Wolf's name. Let's see what else I have here. I'm gonna cross some of these out. What's it like having a baby in New York? Well, I didn't live in New York for very long before I had Wolf, but I was never a I've never been like a party nightlife person. I've always been pretty domestic. I've always liked to cook and bake and craft and create. And so working with children, which is what I was doing before I had Wolf. When I was in Hawaii, I worked as a nanny for several families. I worked in a school. I've always worked like in a domestic caregiving type of setting. So, um, and I love it. It's like the most enriching, fulfilling thing that I have done. Um, that's like outwardly impactual. And so having him here is just fantastic. Like New York has so much to offer, but I didn't live here. I didn't move here thinking like I'd be a socialite or I'd be a part of 
this or that or the other so I've always been kind of like the baking crafting staying at home but wanting to have like fun adventures and outdoor stuff so having him here has definitely changed our perspective of living here it's limiting it's hard because all of my family and the people closest to me are back in Hawaii and it's really far and it's a long journey away and I never really thought I'd live so far from I never thought I'd have a fa I never thought when I had a family I would live so far from home yet I didn't think that I would meet the right person to have a family with at home so, but now that we're at this point, it's still difficult because I'd love to have like, you know, my mom and my dad and Owen um, and my best friends like nearby, like a drive away where we could just hang out and effortlessly get together. And instead it's like, a, it's a, it's a vacation. So on the one hand, it's difficult because it's literally just me and Wolf. I'm stay at home with him. Um... I'm fortunate enough to just stay home with him and Elias works and I stopped working when he's born. So I'm with him 25 hours a day, which is amazing and it's exactly what we wanted. Um, but I'd really love to have like friends and family nearby too, which we don't really have. And so instead of that being a negative, I think this might be the most difficult period where he's an infant he's a newborn he's I'm doing this mothering thing for the first time pretty much by myself so if we do move and when we do move and we have external help it's going to be icing on a cake that we've already perfected and I feel pretty confident about that because I don't want to have I want to know that I have what it takes just me by myself or just me and Elias where we don't have to rely on anybody else. And like, it's good to have those people and that support. And I am envious of those who have it. And I am thankful for the, the support that I do have, but I'm happy to know that we are able to get through this time that's really difficult, challenging and rewarding and beautiful when it's just the three of us. 